This is a lot worse than I thought. It's kind of a funky house. Maybe it's nice on the inside. Uh oh. Ooh wee. Huh. <laughs> this needs so much work. I know it does. <laughs> oh my gosh. So here's a good thing. There's a little dining room off the kitchen. Oh. The biggest problem that I'm noticing with this Is house- Is the smell? The smell, and it's very dark. So to redo this kitchen alone, it would probably be seven or $8,000. The kitchen's tiny. You'd have to definitely, we would have to remove this wall. If we remove this wall, that's another $3,000. That's gonna put us over 10. There's no way we can leave the wall up. So this is the sunroom off the back that's not permitted as living square footage. I don't see the benefit. It just makes the house really dark. This would probably cost at least 7,000 to take down. This house is really weird. There's only one bathroom. A full gut would probably be around $8,000. Okay. This is a thousand square foot, three bedroom and one bath house. The bedrooms are really small and there's also no master suite, which causes a big problem. Oh, I was expecting a bigger closet. It's okay. just another plain bedroom. Bedroom number two, brown carpet. No master. Oh, wow. <laughs> I wouldn't step on You should have wore shoes to it. I don't know what you want to do, but in my opinion, this is a no-go. Christina absolutely hates this house and the interior is a disaster. But there's one saving grace to this property. I mean, there's a lot of potential here. I mean, this yard is huge. What if we add an extra bedroom and bathroom? Or at least an extra bathroom? I know in this area, four bedroom, two baths sell for a lot of money. Yeah. So if we can do an addition for a bedroom, bathroom, expand the kitchen, living room for like 40 to 50,000, we would probably get the money back. Something to think about. We can figure out from Jake what it would cost just to redo it as is and how much it would be to do an addition and find out what the comps are. All right, Jake. That place is a mess. <laughs> yeah, that's All right, uh, it's small, so you got that going in your favor. The, uh, you need to put a new HVAC in there. There's no FAU at all, and the electric is, a, is a bad, so we're gonna need a whole new rewire. I think we can get this whole thing done for about 65, 70. Wow, that high? Those two add-ons right there alone are 15 grand. Okay, well, here's a curveball. Off the back of the house, if we were to take down that sunroom and add a master bedroom, bathroom, walk-in closet, what do you think that would cost us a foot to build? You're looking at 110 to 120 a square foot. It's about 400 square feet back there, so 40 to 45 grand. So if we can do the addition for 45 and the remodel for 65, that's 110,000. If we can turn this from a three bedroom to a four bedroom, we can make a huge profit because the comps, they're in the mid to high fives. This house is looking like a great buy if we can get it for the right price. Before we do anything, I'm gonna have to call the agent to see if we can even get the house because at 375, it doesn't work. Okay. All right, so I'll give you a call a little later today. All right, sounds great, guys. Everybody, right, buddy. It's good Hi. seeing you. Thanks. Thanks. Hey, this is Tarek El Musa. Oh, hey, what's up? So my wife and I and our project manager just walked the house. We took a look at everything. And uh, we are prepared to write an offer. So what we can do is come in with an all cash offer of 325. Oh, it's like 50 less? Yeah, uh, I mean, it's, no. it's $50,000 less because we feel that the list price is about 50,000 too high. Um, all right, well, I'll have to talk to them and I'll get back to you. All right, thank you. Okay, bye. Well, see what he says. Finally, after sleeping on it, the seller decided to accept our offer at $325,000, leaving us some wiggle room to create the master bedroom and bathroom addition. What's going on, Jake? Hey, how are you? Wait, is this the whole edition? This is it, yeah, this is our footprint for the whole edition. Wow, so this is the bedroom, it is really small. This is the whole entire bathroom, toilet, shower, and closet? Yeah. Wow, on the plans, I thought it was bigger. It always looks bigger on the plans. If we would have gone any larger, we would have. it would have cost us 5,000 more with the city. Wow. The foundation makes everything look small. Are you sure? Positive. Here's a good thing. It looks small here, but in, in actuality, the floor ends here. Yeah. So correct. we're gonna have another, about a foot. About a foot. It's about an 80 square foot bathroom. That's, that's not tiny. Okay. 
I think you're right. The foundation is kind of throwing us off, but once it, the floor is in, corner to corner, it's gonna look a lot bigger. All right, guys. When the inspector came out, he informed us we have to remove this. Must have been added illegally somewhere along the way, and they got to go. Are you talking about removing the whole thing? All these archways. Why? We only have about six feet of clearance here. It needs to be 80 inches per code. Perfect, because guess what? This is the ugliest part of the house. What do you think it's going to cost to take this thing down? Won't be terrible. About 1,200 bucks. Now, honey, look this way. I mean, the... We're going to have a normal house. This no. is an afterthought. None of the other houses have this. I mean, are we going to have to take this arch out, too? That arch can stay. I don't, I don't care about that one. doesn't bother me. That one, at least, is a normal height. This is just weird. It's so short. And you're happy. I'm not. <laughs> Sorry, guys. All right, let's tear it down. We'll actually have a normal-looking house. Sounds good. Wow. Wait, what? Same house? Same house. Doesn't look the same. I can barely recognize this house anymore. It's really starting to shape up. But to make it pop, I want to give this house a really unique design. And this looks like how it should be for sure, but we definitely don't have a lot of space to work with, which means we need a big design impact. Why? And I'm thinking something totally different, which Why? I had Jake pull samples of and they're right there. What? Honey, are you kidding? No, blue cabinets. What do you think? You guys setting me up? Is this a joke? We are not under any circumstance doing blue cabinets. We're going to do white cabinets and blue cabinets. Two-tone cabinets or the style? Or, no, we're not doing blue cabinets. Yes, we are. We're, we're doing two-tone cabinets. We're not, not going to do blue cabinets. We have to buy the cabinets, and then we have to paint all the cabinets. So we have to pay for the How cabinets. How much extra does it cost to paint half of them blue? $40 per box. It's about 600 bucks. It's hideous. Don't worry. It's not going to be the bright blue. It's going to be this darker blue. Imagine that color lower, the white subway tile backsplash, and then shiny bright white on the top. Small kitchen, big design. So what do you think, Jake? Kitchen done? Should be. No, 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 no. This was the color that we didn't like. Remember the paint sample? Looks like the painter got confused. This blue is way too bright. If we don't fix it, buyers are going to hate this kitchen and we'll never sell it. There's no way. We, we can't keep them like this. It's, it's honestly ruining the whole kitchen. It's, it's way too of like a playful blue when it was supposed to be like a bold, like dark blue. What are our options? Well, we can repaint it. I mean, it just depends on the price. Uh, what, we, do you, what do you think it's going to cost? It's going to double. We'll spend 1200 bucks repainting these. Well, you know what? It, it definitely can't stay like this. While the kitchen cabinets are being repainted, Christina and I are continuing on the flip. We're finishing the fireplace. You like it? Love it. Landscaping the backyard, run planter box around to give us some color, and then run the sod to the edge of the house. OK. And then from this point on, we can just mulch it. Perfect. And we're painting the front door to match the kitchen cabinets. OK, this is just the first coat, but it's coming along. No, that looks cool. Nice job, honey. Good choice. We're also going to paint the house a light gray with a white trim to make the blue door really bold. I just hope this pays off. I mean, there's a lot of, uh, lot of risky things we're doing here with colors. No risk, no reward. And we're going to mulch the front yard to make it drought tolerant. And then we can build out a planter box here and one over there, put some color in it, and it'll be clean and way cheaper. You got it. Nailed it. Might be too blue, though. No, the stagers, they, like, they crushed it. Nice color. Yeah, I like the paint. Look, Haley. There's a lot of parking spaces. 
Wow. Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? Good. I'm Tart. Hi, Amanda. You guys buyers, neighbors? Buyers, yeah. Buyers. Awesome. Well, today is actually the first open house. Okay. And um, the house is a four bedroom, two bath, and we listed at 569.9. It's about 1,400 square feet because we oh, just right. did about a 400 square foot addition in the back. Oh. So please take a look around and let us know what you think. Sounds great. Wow, this is very, very big. I would definitely take up all this space here, though. <laughs> oh, this is nice. Very nice. Look at the shower. Wow, the oh, shower. Oh, wow, the shower is amazing. Perfect space for entertaining, that's for sure. I like the blue cabinets. Oh, fancy. Don't get too used to this. You got really lucky on this one. Right here. All right. What do we got? Coffee, champagne, and pancakes. Where's the champagne glass? Right there. Oh, I like it. I put it. some roses in it. Just dump the water out. It'll work. Thank you. This looks delicious. Yum, yum. So I have better news. You're not going to believe it. We're already we're putting the house in desk today full price. No, that's awesome. Sweet. Well, enjoy your breakfast. Yeah. There's a lot of effort. This house turned out great, and if this sale goes through, we'll end up making about $100,000 in profit. Time to find another house to flip.